In this video, I will show you how to migrate this virtual machine to a different host within our cluster. So right now, let's view where our virtual machine is currently hosted at. So we talked about this, that in the table view, I see the host itself, but the information that's more useful for us would be kind of below here in the summary table. And this basically tells us that this virtual machine is currently on the host that has the IP of 171. And we know that in our environment, it will be this particular host that this virtual machine is on. So let's say that we want to migrate that virtual machine to a different node that has maybe better performance. We can easily do that by using the migrate task. What is great about this operation is that it will not bring down the virtual machine and it will continue to work even during the migration. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're gonna move this from HCI1 to HCI2, okay? Therefore, let's go ahead and minimize this and let's run a continuous ping to that web server. So let's do that. Okay, so that is running. And let's also SSH to that server. So I'm gonna open up a new terminal window here. And I'm gonna SSH to that server and the username is user1 at that IP address, which is 75. And put in the password. Okay, so we're basically logged in. Okay, so let's go ahead and move that aside here. To do a migration, it is very, very easy. So make sure you have that VM selected. And again, this is currently hosted at 171. So then we we'll go ahead and right here, we're gonna to go to where it says migrate. So I'll go ahead and click there. Okay, now we can have our cluster automatically select the best host, or we can say, we can choose which host it should be moved to or migrated to. So let's say we want to migrate it to 172, which is our node two in our cluster. So I'll go ahead and select that. And once I'm done, I will say, start the migrate process. All right, so we'll go ahead and start up as a new task. That will be basically running soon. I can actually click here also to directly go to that. So it's currently running. All right, and I can go ahead and bring up my continuous ping and you can see that we're still able to ping it. And I can still access that session while it is currently running here. So let's go ahead and move this up here. Okay, get a little bit of a blip there, I notice. Okay, now of course that depends on the network performance between the two nodes. Now these are directly connected to the same switch, but that's still important to take note of. Um, we're still connected to that server and oh, I think it just finished. I was just too busy talking. All right, so you know, our ping is still running there. We still have connection to that server. All right, perfect, let's minimize that. And uh, we can validate that. So again, we see the migrate task has completed successfully. It took about 27 seconds. And the best way to go to validate that is let's go back to that virtual machine. Okay, and now over here, you will see a different host and you see the host IP, which that now it reflects our node two in the environment. That is it, very, very simple. And that is how you can do a migration and what to expect from that operation.